These star flowers, sandalwood, musk, wrapped up into some golden honeycrisp apple and the orange blossom, which is the leafy florally part of the orange flower. You all, you have in the stars times honeycrisp apple. Bath and Body Works presents the blend. Um, out here in the open concept, you all, dun, 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 dun. It's very, very faint, honey. I'm doing this voiceover standing over by the kitchen counter. Um, I literally, on the first second burn, honestly, on the first second burn out here in the open concept, I gave it about a seven with a medium on projection. Like it's a light hinting of the apple or like a perfumey apple, aka it's just pulling a perfumey leafy part of the apple flower which is all apple blossom um in the stars is known to kick heavy the candle by itself so what happened when you wrap that time the pungent honey crisp apple you would think you got another flamethrower and again for a second burn i could only give it a seven this is about the fifth burn doing this voiceover and i literally can't smell it at all like at this point, um, I, I didn't overburn it. It's not turning dark. It's not turning murky. It's just very faint. So out here in the open concept, overall, it has to be a five, which fives to me, either you're going in the inclement weather closet or the second one that I have on backup is getting returned. For me, it's going to be a return. So being that I'm going to return it, how did it do in the smaller room? In my beauty room, again, it was very faint. I couldn't be sitting close to it. You know, I wouldn't have smelled nothing. Um, too far from it, you couldn't smell nothing. Doing my haul video sitting down on the floor, I smelled it. But the fact that it did not meet me in this very small room, that very small beauty room, um, that's mm, that that's 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 the borderline where I decide on what I keep and what goes. Just being a person that's not over consuming, if I can't get a decent performance out of you and I have a backup that I have not burned, I have not touched. Yeah, you're going to get swapped out for something else. I mean, if you gave me full-on orange blossom, like that Aldi orange blossom, the wicks might have been horrible. However, it threw. This right here, I'm just, again, I'm not understanding the ball drop because this would be my second, no, my third blends candle review. Okay? There's four of them. This is the third one. And I'm just lost for words because even over in my bedroom before, yeah, pan over there. Nothing. Editing the video, watching ESPN, literally nothing. Like if my, the air is moving around in the room, y'all, this is a cool 73 going on. So air is circulating. The, it's just not throwing like I'm expected. There's no way this is a version of In the Stars in the pungent honey crisp apple that we known and love from fall that sells out every year. I I just think this is just some non-truth on what this lineup underneath when you read the scent notes what it said it should have. I felt like at this point you played in my face and you just whipped up something and you gave me anything. And that's just the honest to God truth on it. Um so yeah like I said that one is going back and 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 that fourth blend with vanilla bean ocean I'm just going to put up a YouTube short. Like, just don't even look for, my, for a review from it. Um, yeah, because this whole collection for me, if this is the last one I'm going to round it out with, it was a complete fail as far as these blends are concerned. And But uh, nonetheless, you all burn them for yourself and try them for yourself. And I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.